What's cracking, people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. So, a couple weeks back, NZXT reached out to me and they're like, Hey Kyle, we'd love for you to take a look at our pre-built service online configurator thing. And I was like, whoa, did you say, did you say pre-built? Because that's, that's like a trigger word for me. But NZXT was like, please just check out the website and stuff. Just take a look. And so I was like, fine, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. So I did and I was pleasantly surprised by just how different their approach to pre-built system building uh, is compared to any other pre-built solution that I've seen to date. So I figured, what the hell? I might as well share the information out and give it to you guys and let you do with it as you will. And I I'm definitely looking for feedback on this service. I'm sure NZXT is as well. So by the end of this video, please watch the whole video first before you comment uh, any constructive criticism or anything like that. Um, I wanna hear your honest feedback on this service in the comments below because I think NZXT is kind of onto something here. And you guys can let me know if you agree. But here's their website, it's called uh, the service this for, for starters is called build or BLD. Before we actually dive straight into the configurator, I kind of want to see how NZXT defines their own service here. And so when we go to the what is BLD or what is build, the what is build page, they're pretty upfront. I mean, right out the gate, they're, they're letting us know they're super transparent that, that there's a $99 fee. Uh, attached to this service. And the $99, which isn't too bad actually, I was expecting quite a bit more, includes, you know, in a nutshell, these four sort of pillars of their service. For starters, the configurator lets you select up to three PC games. And as you go about configuring your system, the configurator will automatically tell you what kind of frame rates you can expect to see in each of those games. It kind of takes a lot of the guesswork or all the guesswork out of determining what kind of performance can you actually expect in games X, Y, or Z. So I think this is actually really cool, and uh, especially since they're really putting their money where their mouth is by giving a full money-back guarantee. And in case you were wondering how NZXT is able to give these performance predictions, it's all based on their CAM software and all the data that that's been acquiring over the last few years um, gives them the ability to give us a very accurate projection of how any given system is going to perform. Also, professionally built, yes, it's, it goes without saying that NZXT people probably know how to build a PC. It's gonna be dust free, it's gonna be really tidy. It's gonna look very professionally built because it's built by a team of trained peoples. And uh, even the operating system, the drivers are all gonna be up to date. Pretty much the only thing you have to do once it arrives on your doorstep is start using it. So a very nice, quick and easy turnkey solution in that regard. I also do appreciate a good all-in-one warranty when it comes to pre-builds. Um, this one's really no different in the fact that instead of having to deal with eight or nine or more different vendors, you only have to deal with a single warranty plan as NZXT is the one middleman between you and all those manufacturers. In fact, they're one of the manufacturers, but they're also sort of uh, being the, the, the single tech support that you'll need to call in the event that anything goes wrong with your system. And I believe it's a two year, two year warranty as well. NZXT is also promising a wicked fast turnaround, meaning that uh, your system will actually be shipping out to you within 48 hours after you place your order, which is lightning fast. So uh, those are sort of the four pillars, if you will, of this service that they are bundling all together for $99. And uh, what's even better is that as we're about to see, they're charging MSRP for all the components. And that, that's, I think that's the most exciting part here. So even though you're paying a little bit of, of a premium here, $99, you're actually gonna be saving quite a bit uh, when it comes to you know your DRAM and your GPU, especially. We're, we're gonna take a, a look at that right now. In fact, let's let's get started. Let's actually just kit out some 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 system here. Now the three games that we're gonna choose. Obviously, there's a limited list here. Uh, just based on sort of popular demand, I'm gonna go PUBG, Fortnite. Might as well just make a train here with Battlefield One. You can also select between 1080 and 1440. So I'm gonna go with 1080. Still a very uh, popular resolution of choice. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my price now. Now these are sort of just baseline suggestions. Um, 750, sort of like the more budget, lower budget, you know, 800 and less, $800 or less. 1250 is the mainstream sort of sweet spot and $2,500 being your, your high end, uh, you know, balls to the wall system. So I'm gonna go the mainstream, 1250. You'll see when I select that, it asks me what CPU platform I'd like to go. Um, I've been doing quite a few Ryzen builds lately, so let's, let's switch it up and do some Intel. Now, right off the bat, here's the base system that it spits out, and to the left here, you can see our games with their projected frame rates. With 108 FPS guaranteed in Battlefield 1, 117 in Fortnite, 86 in PUBG. You'll also notice that these estimates are based on the 1920 by 1080p resolution that we selected just a moment ago, 
and the game's highest graphic settings. So this is 108 FPS on ultra settings in Battlefield 1. This is, you know, max settings in Fortnite. Max settings are ultra preset in PUBG is what we're seeing here. But moving on over here, you can see that this base system that they, they quoted us here is $1,600, which is quite a bit more than the 1,250 bucks we initially opted for. But that's okay, because from here, you can, you can either go lower or higher, and it'll sort of swap around the parts a little bit until you find that sweet price point that you're looking for. So maybe 1600 is a little high for us, and right now we have a Core i5-7500 with a GTX 1070 Ti and uh, 16 gigs of RAM with an SSD at uh, 275 gigs. So I'm gonna go lower priced and see what, what happens there. So that took off maybe about 100 bucks, 70 to 100 dollars. Um, we still have the same case. Interestingly, we have now a 7600K and uh, still the same card more or less. And, oh, I see, we've been reduced to eight gigabytes of uh, DDR4 and SSD is the same. Let's let's keep going. And you notice how the uh, the frame rates drop down, right? So let's let's go another lower lower one here. Now you can see we've dropped down a little bit further. So with this system floating at around $1,350, we have a Core i5-7500, a GTX 1060 six gigabyte and uh, 16 gigs. So we're back at 16 gigs of RipJaws 5. Um, DDR4. So just for the sake of uh, this video, let's let's just say that this is pretty close to, to what we're sort of aiming at, right? In terms of performance and price. But you can go a step further and actually configure these individual components. So we're gonna click the configure button here. And you can see here we've got every single category pretty much of our system. Starting with the case, you can upgrade your case. It starts you at the NZX TS340. Uh, if you want an Elite, an additional 30 bucks, which is MSRP. They're not they're not uh, upcharging for any of these components, whether it be an NZXT part or or, or not. Um, you're going to be paying MSRP for all this stuff, which is fantastic. So let's say, yeah, I want that Elite. I want that tempered glass side panel. Let's move on to cooling. Right now, they've stuck us with a, a Cryorig H7, very respectable cooler. You can go to the H7 Lumi for an additional 25 bucks, or uh, scale up to one of their Kraken uh, liquid AIOs. I'm cool with the H7 for now. On our motherboard, we have an MSI Z270A Pro, which uh, you know has has some basic features. It's not going to do crazy amounts of overclocking, but at the same time, we have a 7500. We can't overclock anyway. But if you wanted to, no problem. 20 bucks more will get you the 7600K. Then maybe you want to go back to cooling and say, you know what? Maybe I do want to crack it. I'll add that in there. And obviously, the, the price is going to go up. The frame rate's going to go up. Uh, the flexibility here is is really nice. Um, additionally, we've got graphics, and again, we have a GTX 1060 six gigabyte model here. Um, goes all the way up to a GTX 1080 Ti. You'll notice that you don't have every single model of every single component here. Um, we have five options for a GPU, and they kind of each tick a different uh, tier of performance and price. We have three options for power supplies. Looks like they're partnering with EVGA here. Uh, RAM uh, looks like G-Skill. You get some G-Skill options with the RipJaws 5, a little bit more cost-effective than the Trident Z, but that is also an option. You can scale all the way up to 32 gigs, it looks like, um, two 16 gigabyte sticks. That's obviously gonna set you back a little bit as RAM is not cheap, don't need to tell you guys that. And then storage, we've got, uh, you know, if you want a SATA-based SSD, you even got a, a, an NVMe option here, going all the way up to one terabyte. You can do up to two terabytes for that, uh, for that SATA-based drive. Also, your mechanical storage goes anywhere from one terabyte to four terabytes on a Seagate Barracuda. Now, once you've configured all of your core components, uh, then you can get a little bit more personalized here with your color scheme. So uh, this is obviously gonna be limited to the color options for the case. For example, the S340 Elite only comes in white, black, black and red, black and blue, or you can do Hyper Beast for an additional 100. I'm gonna keep it simple with a nice black and white color scheme. And you even have the option to add in some cable mod uh, extensions for your system just to tidy it up a bit more or to make it look a bit more presentable um, in various colors as well. That's an additional cost, of course. And then we've got extras, extras here. NZXT stuff, uh, for the most part, you got your NZXT puck, USB 2.0 expansion, there is a gigabyte Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter, uh, you got your Grid Plus and your Q Plus. And rounding out with software, they're gonna be installing Windows 10 Home, unless you specify otherwise that you'd like to upgrade to Pro for uh, 30 bucks more. Now once you get to this checkout page, you get an itemized list of all the various components that you just selected and their relative MSRPs. And I think this is where the, the, the service shines the most is that you are only paying MSRP for 
everything. Meaning that even your, your DRAM or your GPU in particular are not affected by the inflated mining prices. Um, so if you look here, the 1070 Ti 8 gigabyte model, this is an EVGA Superclock gaming model. MSRPs for $580 US. That is the amount that you're going to pay for that card if you use the BLD service. As opposed to buying that same card a la carte on Amazon, which I've already looked it up, retails anywhere from $1,400 to $1,700. Of course, you can try your luck at a different 1070 Ti, like this water-cooled one that's only $900. What a deal. So this is one of the few times, guys, that I'll actually suggest going with a pre-built service like this one over building a system yourself if you need a gaming PC right now because it is a terrible time to buy some of these components a la carte. Um, whereas you can just get it for a really, really good deal. Not even a good deal. You'll get it for MSRP here, um, which is just the price it's supposed to be technically, um, but you won't get robbed of hundreds of dollars. And granted, yes, you still have to pay the $100, the $99 service fee, but that really pales in comparison to the extra hundreds of dollars you'd be spending on a GPU. So. All together, and I also have to, you know, give them a shout out that it's $99, just like they advertised on their homepage. There are no little hidden fees. They're not tacking on $5 for this BS thing and $10 here. They're not trying to nickel and dime you. It's 99 bucks. The rest of the cost of your system is MSRP. So uh, I really do appreciate the business model here. I think NZXT has done a great job with the site as well. It's a very lovely site, looks nice, super clean, easy to navigate and all that jazz. So on that note, uh, they actually had me configure a system myself a week ago and they shipped it to me. They shipped me the system that I configured and stuff. So let's, let's take a look. I haven't even opened up the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? I, I actually completely forget what I ordered. It wasn't at all what I just did here on the screen. But uh, let's take a look here. I'm gonna have to change the camera angle. All right, guys, so here's the system uh, out of the box. Just got this little cover on it here because I wanted to give you guys a nice big unveiling. I haven't even taken a look under it myself. Um, so it'll be a surprise for me too, to some degree. Um, I actually forgot to film the unboxing portion. I thought I was, I went through the whole, I went through all the motions and I was talking and laughing and it was great. Turned out I forgot to hit record on the camera. I was only recording audio. So just want to let you guys know that it came uh, very well protected, at least at first glance. We'll, we'll take a look under the hood in just a moment, but it came with uh, surrounded by this really tough egg crate foam, which is super high quality and probably probably does a pretty good job of, of, of uh, absorbing sound. So I, I may actually use it for the studio here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood to see A, if our system arrived in one piece and B, uh, how she looks, how those professional NZXT builders did in their assembly process. So here we go. Three, two, one. Go! Oh, well, I guess that's kind of anticlimactic. Well, that's good. This is a good sign because it indicates that they have provided some additional protection inside of the case as well. Take that guy off. And we do have some nice packaging material here. And voila, look at, look at her. Look at her there, hey. Now you guys feel free to gawk over this gaming PC all you want. I'm gonna quickly read off the specs of the system because quite frankly, as I mentioned, I kind of forgot what they were. So obviously we have the S340 in, in glossy white, um, not the Elite, because we've just got a standard acrylic side panel window here, but it still looks very nice. And I like how they kept the, the plastic wrap on there. It means I get to do it myself. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, so good. Here we go. Oh! I'm gonna put this away before I damage it. We've also got the Intel Core i5-7600K. You're damn right I got an unlock SKU. And that is uh, being cooled by the Cryorig H7. The motherboard in there is the MSI Z270 SLI being paired with eight gigs of Ripjaws 5 G-Skill memory at 2666 megahertz. Our graphics card is the MSI GTX 1060 six gigabyte gaming X 
which retails MSRP for a little over 300 bucks. I think you can't find them much cheaper than around $500 at the moment on uh, on various retailer sites. So definitely got a steal there. Storage, we have the Crucial MX300 525 gig SSD with a with no mechanical. I think I opted out of a mechanical drive. Is that right? Did I not get a mechanical? Yep, no hard drive. So this is just a NAND based system as is, but obviously very easy to just pop in a mechanical drive should you wish to do something like that. The total cost for this build, including the $99 service fee, was 1,284 US, which isn't bad. Now the one cost I have not gone over yet is shipping cost, and that's of course gonna largely depend on where you live, where you need this system to be shipped to. Should I power this thing on? I'm gonna power it on. All right, system power on. And everything's lighting up, looking good. GPU fans are spinning. I should also let you guys take a look at the cable management. I didn't really get a good look at it myself. Take a look at the back. Ooh. So it looks like they did a pretty good job. I mean, utilizing all of the tie down points with zip ties um, for, for your, your main cables. Your ATX is right behind the cable bar where it should be. They've stashed a lot of stuff down in the power supply basement. That's kind of part of what it's designed for. And it looks like there's even room to spare if you wanted to add in additional devices, other little random things. Uh, there's, there's also plenty of room just behind the motherboard tray that uh, they've kept really clean for you. Those are a look at our power supply. Very, very, very plain and simple. I think I just got the bare bones sort of EVGA 80 plus bronze one. That didn't, it wasn't like a supernova or anything like that. But um, hey, yeah, it looks everything looks pretty good back here. What I'd like to do now is hook up some peripherals to this guy boot it up again and jump into one of the three games that we selected during our configuration process to see if we can hit the frame rates that were advertised to us by NZXT. And don't get me wrong, I am rooting for the system to, to win and deliver those numbers, uh, but if it doesn't, I will be getting my money back on this system, which is zero, because I did not pay for it. But I think it'll still be sort of fun to compare and also just to validate just how accurate NZXT's projections are um, compared to the real system when it finally arrives. So let's go ahead and hook this sucker up. All right, so we've got the system up and running. We're gonna be playing some PUBG, which is one of the games that I selected when configuring the system. And uh, I'm gonna make sure that everything is on ultra settings here. Let's go to full screen, 1920 by 1080. The actual quote that I was given from NZXT was that I'd be able to run this game on ultra settings at 1920 by 1080 at 65 FPS. So that's what we're gonna look for here in the top left corner of our of our game. So we can see the fraps counter there and let's just jump in. So here we are on the desert map and we're getting anywhere from, you know, 65, 70 FPS, which is exactly where we wanna be. This is what NZXT has guaranteed us. And uh, lo and behold, they are pretty darn accurate. And obviously 65 FPS here is an average. So occasionally we will see some dips below that number. This also gives me uh, confidence that their numbers are pretty accurate for the other titles on their list as well. And finally, I wanna give you guys a quick look at the desktop, just sort of the pre-installed applications. We've got Cam, a couple MSI apps like the like Dragoneye and the MSI Gaming app because we have an MSI GPU after all, GeForce Experience and Steam, which I think most PC gamers are gonna want installed anyway. Uh, Fraps, that was my doing. This was not here when it, when it arrived, that was all me. But overall, very light on the pre-installed software, which I do appreciate. Good job, NZXT. All right, y'all, so summing things up here, I'm pretty, impressed with the just the sort of approach NZXT's taken with this pre-built configurator. Um, I think the whole process from start to finish definitely feels like it was created by a group of PC enthusiasts who understand what PC gamers like you and I are looking for in a pre-built desktop should we decide to go that route. At the same time, the whole process is simple and easy enough for an inexperienced builder to hop onto the website and uh, and say, hey, look, I wanna play these games at these frame rates, click, 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 and automatically have the perfect, so-called perfect PC uh, configured for them in, in a matter of minutes. So that's actually really cool. And, uh, you know, not gonna leave out the fact that you can still get some components for MSRP going this route as well, which is 
insanely valuable. I'm a fan of BLD. I think that's probably one of the best ways to go about buying a pre-built if you are gonna go that way. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts as well. Feel free to let me know, honestly, honest opinions on BLD. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. You can also check me out on Floatplane if you wanna watch my videos a week early without ads. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Guys, thank you so much again. Have a good one, and I'll see y'all in the next video.